so hello everyone my name is ravindra and i welcome you to my youtube channel in this video we will see how to convert untyped object data type in a power before solving that problem we need to identify we should know what is untyped object data type in power so untyped object is a data type in power x that can hold any data structure complex or simple it can be used directly and require explicit conversion to data type feeds in record in untyped object can be accessed using the dot notation and extends of feed is only verified at the runtime untyped object is return type specific untyped providers currently only par json functions return the untyped object to convert the untyped objects we can be use text value boolean color currency for table we can use table so this all the information is available on microsoft documentation you can refer that also i will attach link of this documentation in the description from there you just go read there you will get a brief idea how untyped objects work in the power so let's see and try to solve the error this occur in the power I open here Microsoft Power Apps application. On a button on select property, I just calling an HTTP request. Every HTTP request always gives the response in the JSON format. So that's why in this scenario, you will receive this type of thing. Okay. I call this. Okay. I already press one time. Okay. So GBR site names you can be see. It is untype use value takes or other functions to establish the type. So this type of message you will get. If you try to use this uh, variable directly on the label, you will receive an error. Okay, so here you can be see we are getting an error. Okay, the object argument to the text function has incorrect type expected text actually is object. So let's try to use gallery here. Okay, let's so use gallery, blank vertical gallery. So I select the gallery and give the name to this. Okay, same name that we are copied. So same error we are getting. You can be see there is error in this formula. Try reversing and running it again. So let's I go and open the monitor. What response? We are getting okay to figure out this problem. We have to understand. So let's have open the monitor here. Let's have go to that uh, button where we are calling our request in the play mode. Let's have copy the site name. Control C, paste it here. Let's have go to the our monitor. Clear this uh, session. Okay, we are not needed. And let's simply press the button. Here you can be see. I press the button here. So this error you will receiving the untyped object argument text function has incorrect type expected text actually is object. Okay, one more you will receive for your gallery. Okay, this time not received. So let's see in our variable what response we are getting. So let's I go to variables. In left hand side from here you can be check your variable. So this is my variable GBL site names. So let's have open this variable last one. So here you can be see we are getting this response. Okay, curly bracket. I hope you are not able to see this is curly bracket and the ending is of with also curly brackets. Okay, in this we are receiving O data context HTTP graph. And this type value, okay. This is our array, okay. In the value we are receiving array in the square bracket, like you can be see here. Okay. I will showcase you in this monitor so you can be view that correctly and able to see. Always you also try to view that in monitor so you will get an idea. So we already open the monitor. So let's I go to the monitor. Okay. Here you can be see we are in our monitor. Let's I open this request and click on here. Yes, I remove this. Sir, 
this is our body okay in the body response and this is the actual response that we are getting in our variable it can be c body okay it is removing this response we are getting back or data context http syntax value i just in the left hand side you can be c value this information we are getting okay. let's i go in the response tab in the response you can be see fields we are getting created okay description id name and all other things okay and here is well so let's i go and change this into a json tree so you will identify so this is the response we are getting in our variable okay this one and this much of data we are getting so now we have this type of data okay so let's we go to our power apps now let's go to new screen in the new screen let's go to gallery and let's align this gallery at one place so let's go to microsoft documentation what is provided we want the array okay like this we want the table value okay expected table so let's we go in untype object data type and go to table okay there what is mentioned an untype object can be represent an array okay so if you see in our response okay in the monitor value is representing an array okay here you can be see square bracket we have so this is an array format so let's we go at here we just dot value within small okay and uh, let's we use here table bracket and closing bracket you can be see we are our error is removed okay but if you click on this table you will receive untype use value text property okay? so this v is small in this case okay keep in mind here you can be see our v is small why v is small if you see the response okay in this response you can be see our v is small that's why v is small if you are getting any other so you can be use that name here okay? now if we have table let's like change this to an title subtitle body so to access the values in our gallery this item dot i want to access okay from this value from that array i want to access okay let's i go to the one more time to the monitor okay. and i want to access this description so let's i copy this description name this information from that array why we use our capital v value to access the value within that array that's why we use our capital you can be see we are getting the name patch example 1 let's we give one more dot here and use here id okay in our case id is small okay. so we are receiving id if you wants to use any other thing so simply just copy and use that so i use here name okay so in this way you can be access in the gallery so how to access on the left So first, same thing we have to do. Follow here. Okay. Use table function. Table. Use dot value. Close this. In this case, v is small. We want the first value, so we will use first function. First bracket and this. dot value and we want the name so we will use a name so you can be see in our label property we are getting the value as a patch example one so in this way you can be access untype object in your power apps i hope you all love this video okay if you think i added some value in your knowledge just hit that like button subscribe and please provide your valuable feedback to me